What's going on people? Welcome to Rio's Positive POV subscribers and non-subscribers both. Today I'm going to be talking about the unbearable weight of massive talent directed by Tom Gormacan which is due to be released in cinemas on the 22nd of April 2022. In this one Nicolas Cage plays Nick Cage, a fictionalised version of himself. Going through some troubled times on the old acting front, he decides to accept a different kind of job. This job pays a million dollars. All he has to do is go to a birthday party of a super fan in Mallorca, Spain. Sounds good, right? However, the said super fan is being hounded by the CIA because they believe him to be a notorious criminal who has kidnapped a young girl to affect a presidential election. This one is one which looked batshit crazy from the trailer and I'm happy to say that this movie is batshit crazy. This movie is also absolutely hilarious. I was in stitches throughout. There was a 20 minute period that I was dying. Tears running down my face. The sleeve on my jumper was soggy from wiping tears from my eyes. It was hilarious. There is one line in the movie, I don't want to spoil anything at all, but there is one line that just had me going nuts. It was so bloody funny. That whole sequence is hilarious. That is where this movie shines, when it is being a comedy. When it's full on comedy, this movie is fantastic. And there was a part of me about 45 minutes to an hour in that was like this might be my favorite comedy in years the problem is it kind of stopped being a comedy a little bit and went into a bit more of a generic movie it was meta it knew what it was trying to be but when it tried to explain itself a bit too much that's where it lost me Still a fantastic movie and one of the better comedies that I've seen in recent years. Nick Cage and Pedro Pascal is the bromance that I never knew I needed, but damn, how did I need it? Nick Cage is magnificent as he always is. Nick Cage is a legend and this movie just goes to show that. Pedro Pascal was hilarious. He has got a comedy bone in his body. His line delivery was so on point and some of the subtle he things he done were just magnificent. Tiffany Haddish is actually fairly good in this movie. I am not her biggest fan. I don't think she's the greatest actress, but in this movie she was fairly okay. Obviously not on the level of Pedro and Nick, but still put on a really, really good performance. Much better than I've seen from her so far. Visually, it looked really good. It was set in Mallorca, Spain. I don't know if any of you have been to Mallorca, but it's really bloody nice. So cinematography was great. The score was okay. The music was okay. There was nothing that blew my mind. The editing was, was okay. It was sharp enough. Um, the movie probably could have been cut by about 15 minutes in my opinion. There was a few things that just didn't quite work on the pacing front. However, overall I had a really good time watching this one and it's definitely one which I think you guys should check out. Especially if you're fans of Nick fucking Cage. And when you see the movie you understand what I'm talking about. Overall for me I gave it a 7 out of 10. It's definitely one that I would watch again. It has its moments, it's not fantastic, but it's a really good movie. Once you've seen this one, please do hit me up in the comments and let me know what you thought about it. If you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you find out when the videos are coming available. I'm Rio, this has been my positive POV. Thank you for watching, peace out.